This video is going to be all about getting a clear understanding on what the most important parts of your chart are when it comes to dating and love, two of my favorite topics, because I want to make sure that you're getting the most out of your relationships. And if you're looking for a relationship, I want to make sure that you find the best match. So let's go. Okay, when dating someone, it's important to know that there are three main parts of their personality. You know, you have your sun sign, the moon sign, and the rising sign. And for those of you out there that are pretty deep into astrology, there's no need to freak out that I'm not focusing on Venus, Mars, or even Mercury right now. Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to explain about Mercury, Venus, and Mars and what role they play, but I want to make sure to focus on the sun moon and rising sign because those are the three extremely influential energies at play when it comes to your overall personality and the personality of the person that you're romantically involved with. Now let me explain a bit about what those placements mean so when you look at your chart you'll understand how it relates to dating and love. Okay, your sun sign, which is the one sign that most people know. So when you ask someone, hey girl, what's your sign? <laughs> Don't ask it like that, it won't work. Their sun sign is what they're going to respond with. It's based on what month and day you were born and represents your conscious mind, how your will is expressed, the representation of how you go after life, which in many ways is reflected in the foundation of your thoughts, where our ego lives. So when I say your sun sign, it represents your conscious mind. This is not to be confused with Mercury, the planet of communication. Mercury influences the way you communicate, like how you learn, process, and exchange information, whereas your sun sign represents the source of your thoughts, why you think the things that you think, and what it is that you're even thinking. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, I call your sun sign the CEO of your chart because when you're making a decision, and your sun, moon, and rising are all having input, it's your sun sign that gets the final say-so because that's the main part of who you are. Now, when you're in a relationship and you're discussing what you think about something, it's your sun sign talking. Now, your moon sign is based on the month, the day, and the year you were born. Your moon sign represents how you're wired emotionally. Now, this is not to be confused with Venus. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. So when it comes to Venus, especially regarding relationships, it mainly influences what you're attracted to in terms of how you experience pleasure, what you consider beautiful, and your idea of the perfect relationship. Like if you're into a partner that appears dangerous, or if you're attracted to the more quiet type, it also influences your sex appeal. But in terms of how you're wired emotionally, that's your moon sign. So when you're in a relationship and you or your partner get emotional, if you get angry or frustrated, excited, hurt, all of these emotions are influenced by and expressed from your moon sign. This is why in my experience working with married couples or people that are dating and in any sort of relationship really where emotions play a major role, the moon sign is an extremely important, if not the most important part to know about yourself and the person that you're in a relationship with because when either of you gets emotional, understanding the traits of your moon sign is going to give you a window into the best way to deal with those emotions and if you've disconnected, this is going to help you reconnect, get on the same page, speak the same language because that's how relationships last and thrive is by maintaining the connection. So your moon sign is the make or break factor in a relationship. Now if any of you out there are saying, well what about Mars? Well, Mars is the planet of physical energy, physical action, physical desire. It governs what you crave sexually. So what things excite you on a mostly physical level, not emotional, physical, that would be influenced by Mars. So Mars is your basic like animalistic instinct when it comes to aggression, anger, sex. So when you talk about how aggressively you respond when you get triggered emotionally, Mars will play a part. But what triggers you is once again going to be based on how you're wired emotionally, which again is your moon sign. So for the core of emotional wiring, we keep coming back to the moon sign. Okay, so now let's talk about your rising sign, which is based on the month, day, year, the time, and the place you were born. In your relationships, your rising sign is going to influence your first impression. Like when you go on that first date, what you initially get and see is their rising sign. What they see and get from you is your rising sign. So it's going to be the personality traits and the physical appearance that you experience when you first meet someone. So if someone's rising is very different from their sun sign or their moon sign, what you see is not what you get once you get in and really get to know them. 
your rising sign is also very powerful because it's your instinctual reaction when you're surprised or taken off guard by something. Not your animalistic physical instinct like Mars, but your deeper emotional instinct. So your rising plays a huge role in dating and relationships because it'll give you a window into how you and your partner will respond in the moment when either of you is either called off guard or surprised by new circumstances or information. So it's really important to know all of these signs, but the main three, your sun, your moon, and your rising, are at the top of the list in terms of how to best navigate a romantic relationship. So your sun sign, how you think, or your conscious mind, that way we don't get it confused with Mercury. Your moon sign, how you feel, or your overall emotional disposition, not to be confused with Venus, and then your rising sign, your first impression, and instinctual emotional reaction, not to be confused with Mars, which is your animalistic physical reaction. Now make sure to keep a lookout for an upcoming video that I'll do breaking down how to understand the blend of these three signs and how they work together in a chart based on what element they're in, earth, air, water, or fire, and where the placement is. Like for example, if you're an Aries with Aquarius moon and Cancer rising, that Aquarius moon is gonna have a different influence than if you were a Leo with Aquarius moon and let's say Capricorn rising. So I'll make sure to explain how and why that is. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you out there that have subscribed, liked, commented, shared, and taken the time to check out my channel. I started my practice as an astrologer because learning this information really made a major impact in my life when it came to understanding myself, deepening the connection of my relationships, and manifesting the things that I desired. And really, just the thought that this information may have a positive impact on anyone's life out there makes me so happy. So thanks again, and just know I'm working really hard on making more videos so we can keep the information flowing. Now, as I've been reading comments, especially on my dating videos, many people are asking, how do I find out my moon sign? So I'm excited to tell you that when it comes to finding out your sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, and all the other main components of your chart, I've made it super easy. I just launched my website, astrologyguide.com, where you can go enter your birthday information and instantly get what you're looking for. It's extremely straightforward and easy to use. You don't have to worry about understanding the birth chart wheel or symbols or degrees or the houses. I've done all that for you. It's broken down. It's completely free. So check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks again for all the support. And like I said, I'll keep working hard to get more information coming your way. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please hit the like button, share it with someone if you think they could use the info, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thanks so much again for supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.